Hey everyone, Griffin, our editor, put a compilation of sports videos together so I can react to it. So I don't know what's coming and you're just gonna give you my authentic, genuine reaction and you know, I'll chime in where I can or, or react to uh, just what, whatever happens naturally. So I don't know what's up ahead. So yeah, let's enjoy this together. I guess UFC fight, they're grappling right now. This probably isn't gonna be good, I'm afraid. I'm afraid, uh, yeah, <laughs> something, I'm sure something happened, um, but he's really torqued, um, you know, and then, yeah, that elbow goes, yeah, um, now it's a soccer one, let's see here, ooh, right there, yeah, that, I don't know if it's his, uh, kneecap, but it looks like his kneecap dislocated, so, um, and that's going to be hard to straight, so I guess they're showing this in slow-mo, and then, ooh, so why does that happen? So so why does a, a, a kneecap sublux, or, or, or and, and unfortunately, he, he got his cleat caught, you can kind of see that, and then he's trying to impart a force of extension to, to, to plant, um, and, uh, and then the quads, usually it's the lateral quads, are really strong and they're just gonna yank this this guy out but yeah I, I kind of yep and you can see it right here uh, with this definitely there's something yep and that you can see like I said the cleat down here is caught oh, probably more towards this fifth fourth or fifth uh, toe um, and then that just kind of sets it up and you know usually it's just quad dominance you gotta get rid of that and do a lot of the heel slides exercises that we do here so um, you probably could avoid it because he looks athletic and this really shouldn't occur, but um, probably in this guy's uh, future, there's a, a few more of these events that are going to happen, uh, and maybe even a meniscal tear, actually. So, that's unfortunate. Could have been prevented. Um, I don't think it was fractured, so we'll see. So now we're looking at a former MVP. Uh, I love baseball. Christian Yelich, he just hits it right off his foot. Um, you know, a lot of force, uh, or oh, got his knee, and then yeah, that's actually the injury. I did see this, I remember this. Um, it fractured his uh, kneecap, unfortunately, um, and uh, cost him his MVP to uh, you know, our Dodgers, Cody Bellinger. Uh, he was having a great season uh, in 2019, um, and that's really unfortunate, but yeah. He got that one side. real good. And, you know, when you got that force, your kneecaps got a little bit of that, um, you know, kind of like a dome shape. But, you know, you hit it right on the top part. There's a good chance to almost let it split a little bit. So um, there's so much po t uh, torque and, and, and pressure from uh, the the quads and, and, the, and the tendons underneath. So, um, yeah, that was unfortunate. And you never want to see that happen. All right, so we're watching uh, some NCAA. Uh, looks like uh, some of the, the big dance. Uh, what did I miss here? Um, and that's the, the shin bone. A lot of times uh, the basketball players, we can watch this one again. Um, a lot of times the basketball players do a lot of jumping. Uh, there's micro stress fractures. Uh, when the micro stress fractures happen, they actually don't fill back up because um, they're chronically playing, there's this inflammation. So um, then it basically just kind of, you think of a, like if you folded a, a nice clean paper, you now have that ripple and it's really hard to smooth out. Um, and so when you land poorly and uh, with your ankle slightly out, a little bit of torque, load and torque is a perfect formula of a fracture. Um, basically you're just, just like if you wanted to break a bunch of sticks, you know, you take that and, uh, you know, take a stick and you load it and you, you do that and guess what? It's going to pop, it's break. Um, and unfortunately, when uh, the stress fractures, all these micro stress fractures happen, they they c completely, um, they just hollow out and then you're basically working with like a hollow tree or, or and then, you know, the bone, which normally would be filled with, with other, you know, soft bone uh, to protect it has been gone. And then now you're just working with just bark and then you land up incorrectly and then your toast and you see this often <clears throat> unfortunately in basketball I think the same thing happened to Paul George and and a couple others uh, I remember a Louisville uh, uh, championship game um, uh, before as well so that's unfortunate yeah yep yeah what's that it's usually a uh, the high ankle or yep 
Um, and that's just a lot of beat. The shin gets beat up uh, quite a bit. Wow, Kerry Strug. Yeah. Now this is a pretty amazing feat. Um, you know, I, and you know, you see this this quite a bit. Um, you know, she she lands poorly, and then she's gonna go and and have that resilience. Um, you know, I think a, a true competitor. Um, it's gonna go out and try to you know get that score and you know I think they they got the gold uh, after this but yeah uh, once again it's just you know her if she could get that rotation she probably lost a little bit of that torque at the, in the air um, but yeah I think it's amazing when you can land something like this I and mean, you can't stage this and that's that's yeah still brings tears to my my eyes. So. If we get a look at uh, how late this hit was, is the chip down the wall? So you cannot finish your chip. Ooh, right into the glass. So you got to release it. Whiplash. A <laughs> bunch of whiplash. Go there. Not only does he ride yeah. him into the boards, he puts um, him in. The so he got knocked out. A good concussion there. <laughs> Uh, all right, Golden State. Uh, oh yeah, this one. I wrote a, a blog about this. Uh, Clay Thompson. Boy, he just landed um, incorrectly. Um, once again, I think a lot of the ACL or the well, I think he had a, a little bit of the fracture as well um, that happened at the same time with this a little bit of the collision. Would if if no one tipped him, would he have you know lost his balance, landed incorrectly, and and you know probably not. He would have been fine. Uh, unfortunately, you know the just the, the the way when your foot lands, your foot actually becomes like a, a directional pull uh, at the point of contact. So when it lands, lands like this, guess what? You're gonna rotate that way. If it lands this way, you're gonna rotate this way. Obviously, if you land, you know a little bit more towards a, a flatter on a flat surface, it's better, um, and you can really recover uh, quite a bit. But you know, nature of professional basketball is just. A lot of jumping, a lot of quad muscles, um, and you got to, you know, I, I think this is just a freak thing, unfortunately, and, and you know, what's his timeline? You already know that, um, at least from what I read, uh, he, he uh, hurt his uh, Achilles, um, no doubt, because he just using his Achilles so much as a compensation, and there's important muscles like the soleus muscle and the VMO muscle that should have been um, discussed, uh, but more in weight bearing. So his rehab, um, they probably missed a few things, and then he had to use his Achilles way more and then hurt that, and now he's out for another season, unfortunately, um, which is a big blow to Golden State. Um, but yeah, a lot of compensation. Same thing happened to Kobe, um, you know, Hurt himself, ACL, then he got his Achilles, and then that's the, the whole thing. Um, really, uh, you know, cascades. Off the end of the bat, pool shot. Can anybody get the first? Machado's going to beat everybody. Back on one. He tries to make that turn. So base is interesting. If you happen to run bases, um, you know, there's it, it's a lot. There's no, you know. Yeah, I think this is yeah, Manny Machado just yep catches it right there and yep. It's an MCL. I forgot exactly what happened um, uh, to him here, but uh, yeah, that just you can catch that. The cleat is metal. Um, then you got this rubber surface. It's not a perfect flat surface. It's dome like that. You catch it weird. Um, you know, I've happened to sprain my ankle many times running bases. So. Um, but yeah, that's unfortunate for for Manny. Um, but he's doing fine. He signed a three hundred uh, something million dollar contract, so um, uh, didn't didn't phase him too much later in life. So this was a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely want to do uh, some more of these in the future. If you guys like it, uh, we definitely love to hear from you. Leave some comments. Uh, if you like where we're headed with this channel and, and really bringing a little bit more fun as well as the education alongside it, uh, then please uh, subscribe. Leave some likes. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.